Welcome back out to Dyersville, where the music has been rocking since 7 p.m. tonight. Open to a shy Carter. Right now we got Maddie and Tay going, and I can say with confidence, never expected to be going live from Maddie and Tay concert, but here we are. Great night ahead. Of course, this is a great opportunity for Dyersville to put their community in the spotlight. One these residents take great pride in. It puts us back in the spotlight. It's a great, it's a great opportunity for people to be to interject revenue back into the community and and uh, we get to share what it means to be Dyersville. Now tomorrow it's all about the ballpark and the ball game really 8,000 fans will ascend on the Field of Dreams site built by Major League Baseball and what a site it is you know this is we got to look around earlier today at this ballpark where guess what cornfields still line the outfield fences and you know, you got bleachers running along third baseline. It's really a beautiful site. Again, Major League Baseball built this specifically for this game. The players will walk out of the corn and in introductions, and it's going to be quite the unique experience to catch a baseball game. I think it's just going to be the most unique place to hit a ball ever. To tell you what it's going to do, man. I, I can't wait to see it myself. The special moment to actually walk up and see this live uh, that we pulled it off. Um, we're about 24 hours away, but it, we're, we're so so close to it. And you know, when you go ahead and watch, I've watched the movie a couple times in the last week. To to be able to bring an actual game here and tie it together with the movie, it's just a really special feeling. I have to say, this is as magical a, a, a structure as the as the small field was when we first came down here to to shoot the movie. I mean, this uh, the way that the corn is banked in the back. I never sort of expected that, but this is like. I know this is like an amusement park. It's so, so beautiful. Dwyer Brown played John Kinsella, the father in the Field of Dreams, and he says that movie holds a special place for him, not just because, of course, he was in it, but because his father actually passed away 30 days before shooting that movie. And we all know the sentiment behind it is a father-son relationship. Now let's turn our attention to the baseball game itself. The Yankees and White Sox are both peaking at the perfect time for this game. Going to draw plenty of eyes tomorrow as the first pitch is thrown out a little after six for good reason. The Yankees just six and a half games back from Tampa Bay. The White Sox lead the AL Central with the moves the Sox have made this season. All signs point to them chasing a World Series right now. They're going all out and that's how ESPN analyst Buster Olney sees it as well. With the trade of Chris Sale and other deals they made, they were setting themselves up for one great uh, run. And they're right now in the middle of that window. You know, having this group of young players, this excellent rotation that can shut down bats in October, uh, the bullpen the way that it is. I, I think Jerry Reinsdorf, um, you know, now in his mid-80s, he's devoted to the idea of perhaps winning a World Series again. Going to be a fun night of baseball. Yankees, White Sox, first pitch again. A little after 6 p.m. That game airing on Fox. We're going to have a watch party in the town square here in Dyersville. So if you're like me, can't get into the game, come on down. Check out the game. Check out the Iowa Nice. Looking forward to it. Going to be a fun night of baseball. We'll get you all the coverage Thursday right here on Local 5.